as you heard, Chanel increased their prices again. I know, and this time it's quite a lot. I'm gonna give you the prices before it increased and right now how much it is and how much they increased the prices. Let's go! <laughs> but first, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm a bag lover and I guess if you clicked on the YouTube video, you are too, too welcome. My name is Margot, I'm French bag lover and I do have my own small business as well. I'm gonna link here. We are going to start. So the bag that I was showing to you is mine, personally mine, and I'm not planning on selling it because I bought it too freaking cheap that now. It's a very good investment, so if you plan to invest in a Chanel bag, please do. This is a very good investment. Okay, so I have my phone just here and I'm gonna give you the before and after increasing prices. So we're gonna start with the classic small flap. This is a classic, the timeless one. I'm gonna give you the photos here just uh, for you to, to see how it looks like. So it was 9,600 USD and it's now 10,400 USD, which means that it increased of 800 USD. This is quite a lot. It's like around 8%, I believe. So it's quite a lot for the small one. Let's continue with the medium size and it was 10,200 USD and this is now 10,800 USD. This is insane. It increased also six from 600 USD. This is quite a lot. Uh, in France, it was more around four and 400 and 600 euro. The maximum was an increase of 600 euros. Maximum, maximum. So I think it's still more interesting to buy in France than in the US, actually. Uh, okay, so now the Jumbo one. This is the big one. Uh, it was 11,000 and it's now 11,700 USD and it increased of 700. Then we had the maxi flap. So the, this is a maxi Jumbo. This is the biggest size for uh, the classic one. It was 11,500 and it's now 12,300. This is quite a lot and it increased of 800 US. This is insane, this is a lot. Um, knowing that in France, maximum was 600, 800 is kind of a lot, but I guess because it's the US, it's mostly common. And you had another increase that we didn't get in Europe, actually. This is the first increase since last year, March 2023 for us in Europe. But for you guys in the US, I believe you had also an increase um, end of November, like end of 2023. Then we have the classic mini square. This is like the small one. This was 4,700 and it's now 5,000. So it increased 300 euro, like not 300 USD. This is not a lot, so it's okay, I guess. But what do you think also about Chanel increasing their prices, about quality, about um, aftercare service? Let me know your experience. I'm always super happy to know. I had quite a bad experience each, each time with Chanel, except in Paris. I had a very good experience uh, at the Montaigne store. I like this shop. They have always everything that you want. They are super nice. I always got like very nice people, even if it was like for buying a um, cat holder, not even a bag. So I think this is, this is important. Here in Barcelona, because I'm right now living in Barcelona, I never had a good experience in Chanel store. Maybe it would change. If you have a good essay in Barcelona for Chanel, let me know. <laughs> Even if I'm not planning on buying anything new right now because of the prices, uh, for me, it would be insane to do it so. And I don't have that much budget, actually. I'd rather go to um, a Chanel vintage one. Better quality, better prices. Okay, let's go for the classic wallet on chain. They did not change the prices on this one. Even in France, Europe, they did not get any increase on this one. I don't really know why. Well, it's already quite expensive for a wallet on chain. It is a wallet with a chain. Uh, so this is not actually a bag originally. Everyone is buying this one because it's cheaper and for a, for a first handbag, it's kind of okay. But they did not. Uh, quite interesting, actually. Then we are talking about the Chanel 19. So this is a bag that I don't really like, but this is more and more trendy. This is a more um, easy bag to wear. It's less classic, I would say. So the normal one was 6,400. It's now 6,600. It took 200 USD. Not a lot. I'm a bit shocked. I think they get increased the bags way more on the bigger bags. Same in France. Chanel 19 large size was 6,800 and it's now 7,300 increased of 500 USD. This is 
bigger now. <laughs> And the maxi one, so the larger size, which, which is like kind of a tote, I would say, um, was 7,500 and it's now 7,900. It took 400. So this is kind of weird that they increased a lot the medium large one, but not really the maxi ones. This is quite weird. Uh, I don't see the logic in it, but I believe bigger bags are going back to trendy bags and not the smallest bag. I think bigger bags, like, Toad and maxi bags are getting a comeback and I like it because I like bigger bags too even if I like also micro bags. I like both of them. Um, I don't know actually. What are your thoughts about it? Do you prefer like smaller bags or bigger bags? Let me know in the comments. Then we are talking about the 255. So this is the most classical bag at Chanel. This is the first little baby they had. So the mini one uh, was 4,900 and it's now 5,200. So it took three 300 USD increased. The normal size was 10,200 and it's now 10,800. So we, it took like a 600 increase. That is quite a lot also. And the large size of the 255 was 11,000 and it's now 11,700. So it took 700 USD. And uh, I noticed they, didn't, they do not have any more of a small version. They, uh, they only have like the mini one and the medium one but they don't have any more the small one. Mm, why? Even on the French website, they do not have it anymore. Quite weird. Anyway, now let's talk about the boy one. I love it. This is my favorite one. I don't know if you like this bag too, but I bought it actually a few months ago, like end of 2000. No, actually it was a year ago. <laughs> Time flies. So I bought it like last year. I think it was January, like 2023. And I love it. I think it's a good moment to buy it because this is not this is not trendy as it was before. Um, it will again, I think, because this is a classic, this is an intemporal one. But I think it's now the moment to buy it if you want it, second hand mostly. But because the prices are not too expensive because this is not the most asked bag, it's not the most trendy bag. People do not buy it a lot. So now is the time to buy it. By the way, I still have on my website the Gabrielle one from Chanel. And I have also a grand boy. So this is the large size on the website available. So the boy and the Gabriel are very good prices and they are full set. So this is quite insane. I ship worldwide. I will let you know my website just here and you will have the links down in the description. Anyway, so concerning the boy. So you have a small one that was 6,100 and that is now 6,400. So it took like 300 USD. That's fine, not so bad. The normal one, the medium size was 6,600 and now 6,900, 300 increased. And the large one, also 300 USD increase, which was 7,000 and now 7,300 USD. I really believe that it was because it is not that much because it's not a trendy bag for now, but you know, fashion comes and, and go. Um, I think it's a good moment to buy it and to buy big bags because it's going to be trendy, I think, this year and next year. And I'm going to talk about the flap one, the timeless one with the top handle, the trendy CC as we call it. It was 6,900 and it's now 7,100. It's a 200 USD off increase. This is not a lot. I'm quite surprised actually about it. Uh, I truly believe it's because they don't want to increase it so much because this is not as classic as a timeless one, as a classic flap, the boy, etc. Even though uh, it was way cheaper before, there was like a huge price difference and now not so much. So I believe it's because it was trendy, because of the price also, way more interesting than a classic one. But still, hmm, I don't know, like they increase so much prices and for me the quality is not following. For now, maybe they will increase quality. I hope for them because they keep increasing prices and this is not okay. Like even if, even though like people are still buying, like this is a good strategy at the same time because people are still buying. I don't know if you noticed, but on the website also, uh, when you click on the classic flap on the boy and whatever, they change a little bit the website. It's more classy, I would say, because of a price increase, they made some changes. And uh, before actually price increase, they are making a change on the Chanel Classic Flav. They are calling it the Chanel Classic 
11, 12. I don't know why. Let's see where it leads, where it, where it goes. But I can see they are making quite lots of ch changes uh, since Carl is not here anymore. And have you seen the new collection, by the way? I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm making a new video where I'm going to talk about this new collection. Usually I don't really like their new collection, but this time, mm, very nice. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to give you two other videos you need to watch. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and welcome here if you're new. And if you're not, thank you so much for being here, for commenting the videos and hope you enjoy my content. So see you very soon and yeah, see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.